You want to see my song? You want to see my song? My Swahili song.
every word that is surrendered into your hand. I hand it over to you, my Lord. Take it over. Save us.
I have taken them off. When the Lord said, if you want someone to go in, come in and go see him. We can hear something there. He shocked me. When the Lord says, this arm soars higher than the ark of Noah. When you come to next year, those who are inside, it's the season of alighting. And they are expected as nations. I hope this is not grieving your heart. We can petition God and we can, and we can ask him to open the door. I don't know. He is God. He knows what he's doing. So, because now we are already in the heart, I just hope all of us are in the heart. It will grieve my heart to have any outside. So as we talk about this call now, the call to explosion, that's where I'll begin. Jesus gave a parable of the soul. And he said, the farmer went to sow and he threw some of the roadside in the path. So the birds of the year ate them. So the soil is our heart. And the sower is the Lord. And the seed is his word. And this year he gave us a word. They that know their God, they shall be strong and do exploits. The road side stands for those who lack understanding. I'll be shocked to come up to this man and the two people don't understand what you've been talking about. Those who lack understanding, the seed of God, the word of God, will not take root. The enemy has already stolen. The Bible says, my people perish for lack of understanding. Without understanding, you may not know the times and the seasons that we are in. Without understanding, you can make choices that are not right. For example, you can be like the foolish five virgins that went to the to wait for the master without enough food. They did not understand that master can delay. You know a master comes in his own time. Without understanding, you can find yourself building on the sand while there's a bedrock, a foundation, which is steady. The enemy finds a play field in the people in the church who lack understanding what the Lord is saying. And I hope we don't have such, and especially in this year of explosion. So in that play field, then we snatch his word and you are left empty. He took for another ground, the rocky ground. This was received the word with great excitement, with great gladness. But as we all know, that the seed, the word of God, has to be tested when it comes in you. The times of testing, they lack perseverance. They are no endurance. In the time of affliction, they thought, no, I don't think this is a year of explosion. The way I'm feeling, I, I don't see the explosion, I don't touch it. They gave up. They failed. So the one never took roots and it dried up immediately. There's the soil of the thorns. They hear the word, but the cares of this world, deceitfulness of riches, lust of other things, enter and choke the word and becomes unfruitful. We are talking of explosion. But our issues, our problems, cry louder than the voice of the Lord. 
we hear our issues, our problems, the voice, they are crying loud and high, such that they choke the voice of God. We can't hear the voice of God. And therefore, we become unfruitful. We can't do exploits. Then there's the good soil. This is the soil that hear the word, understand the word, overcome the trials, and they trust in God. And therefore, they bring forth the fruit. And this is how they bear 30-fold, 60-fold, 100-fold. There are areas that the Lord desired this year to bless his children, that they may explode this year. I'll just mention a few, but there are many areas in our lives that the Lord this year desired that his children, because they know him, they can explode. One of them is the area of finances, the area of family, the area of influence, the area of anointing, the area of impacting the nations. We can put many more. There are many more areas that the Lord indeed wanted us this year that we may explode. All the fire of explosion starts. But how we are going to multiply or bring forth this explosion, the difference that is being seen here of 30, 60, and 100, is going to be dependent on how you've understood the word of God this year. How you're going to endure in time of testing. And how you're going to trust in the Lord. Not being choked by worries, troubles, deceitfulness of riches, cares of this world. How are we going to achieve the maximum explosion that we have received already? Because there's a time of multiplying it. Great sacrifices of obedience will be highly required. Great sacrifices of obedience. God works with what we put in his hands. He has for something, and we have to put that in his hands. So if there is no great sacrifice of obedience, as we have been talking since the beginning of this year, then our multiplication of our explosion probably will be maybe zero or twenty. But those who want to come to maximum hundredfold, this is the way. Great sacrifices of obedience. Where there's obedience, there's hearing and there's doing. With a willing heart, not being forced. Not have obedience. Mark 21 2. The poor widow, Jesus saw her come to give an offering. She put two small coins. And because Jesus works with what we put in his hands, for us to break through in our finances, in our families, in the influence, in the anointing, impacting the nations, we can multiply that too to become 200. Or if you put 60, it can multiply to 600. Abraham put Isaac in the Lord's hands and he achieved a great explosion up to today. We read about it. We live it. And especially those who are born again. Abba brought a pleasing sacrifice to God. If we have to achieve the maximum hundredfold, he brought a pleasing sacrifice to God. And Cain was jealous. He didn't want to ask how Abel brought it. And if we are going to reach that hundred, I want to reach that hundred. 
I want to bring a pleasing sacrifice before God. Jesus took the two fishes and five loaves and multiplied and 5,000 people ate. The Lord is speaking to us. I build the ark of explosion. You are already in. As you are light in your destination, how are you going to multiply this? How are you going to explode? Are you ready for explosion? It will take the sacrifice of obedience. The Lord has spoken about obedience this year more than any other thing in our hearts. And that will be the key. Because with explosion, and the Lord alights you in your destination, He will ask you things. He will ask you things to do. But you take a heart that can please the king, can please the master, and give the king and the master the desire of his heart. Otherwise, we are not going to multiply this explosion. We are not going to explode the intensity and the, you know, the, the intensity that the Lord desired us. Today, what kind of a soil have you been? I want us to ask ourselves, what kind of soil is we been? The word of God has been planted this year in our hearts. The Lord has spoken his word this year. He said, my children, I desire to show my power through you. My children, I desire to show you to the world. I am the potter. You are the clay. This year, I want to mold you. But how many of us have allowed the Lord to mold us the way He desires? Some of us have been a clay that complains. Some of us have been a clay that cannot persevere. Some of us have been a clay that is choked by the cares and the worries of this earth. Have we allowed the Lord to fashion us for explosion? Have we allowed the Lord to fashion us for explosion? Have you allowed the Lord to fashion you for explosion? The new wine cannot be put in the old wine skin. This call for explosion. I have no words to explain it, to explain it. The explosion we have birthed in this place, no mind in this house can comprehend and can understand. Only a time will tell. Only the time will tell. But my cry this morning, as the door of explosion has been closed, and you can't come in until the Lord shows us his mercy again. Have you been a claim that the Lord can mold that what he wants to mold? Or have you been molding yourself? Have you allowed the Lord to touch the areas of your lives that he can bring bloody seeds of explosion in your heart? He can entrust you with the seeds of explosion in your hands? with the seeds of explosion in your mouth, with the seeds of explosion in your heart, and he can entrust you that when he alights you in China, you shall explode for him. He shall show what he fashioned this year in this place. It's my cry this morning. It's my cry this morning. It's my cry this morning. Because some of you, you'll see others explode in the nations. 
and you'll think that God was unfair with you. But you never allow God to mold you for this explosion. You never obey the Lord. You never offer the sacrifices that are pleasing. You just brought whatever you felt like in the house of the Lord. The explosion that the Lord has fashioned in this place is greater. No one can understand it. No one can explain it. No one can define it. It can maybe be defined through a camera. That's the only thing that can define what the Lord has birthed in this place. Do we want to multiply? Do you want to multiply hundredfold? Do you want to multiply sixtyfold? Do you want to multiply thirtyfold? It's the desire and the choice of your heart. It's before you. You can increase your explosion or you can break the boundaries by the way you come to the Lord. What kind of an explosion that the Lord has birthed in this place? <laughs> it's a kind. This is a kind. When Jesus comes in the temple, He cleansed it. This is the kind of explosion that we're talking about. The explosion of cleaning the temple. The Whenever I shall go clean the temples of God. Clean. Clean. Probably the Lord today is speaking in parables. <laughs> Prophesying to the finances. Yeah. He has come in parables so that those who may not, whom he doesn't want them to understand, to think that they don't understand. Because sometimes the Lord hides his truth to only those that he desires them to know.
healing history has become a good sign where the Lord cannot play his purposes, his purposes, his purposes. And there's no power for what I shall dare and the thing ever that they shall prevail. We shall grow 30, 60, and hundreds. The Lord has found it. He has plucked the rocks, he has plucked the thistles, he has moved the stones. And he has made it a ground that he can plant the anointing, that he can establish the families, that he can establish the evangelists and the fivefold. Thank you, Jesus. You're worthy. You're worthy. Thank you for the call that you've called us to where you are. To where you are. Thank you, Lord, for calling us. You are God of exploits. You did them in the beginning. You are doing them. Thank you for calling us to your seat. That you can do as you do. That you can speak as you speak. Thank you, Lord, for ushering us, ushering us to the place of explosion. We have answered to the call of explosion. We have said yes, yes to the call of explosion. You call out. We heard you. We have said yes, Lord. We have said yes, Lord. Use us for your glory. Use us. For your glory. The Lord has called us for explosion this year. Set your heart that see and check whether you have answered this call. Whether this call of explosion you have answered. The call to explosion. Have you answered to it? Do you ascribe to it? It's the time of soul searching of our hearts whether we are lost to the call of explosion. This is what will make the difference. You know, if anybody was to be asked, today where would be Jesus born? Probably they would say NPC. But believe what? He has chosen this church and nobody can kill this, this baby of explosion. No one. How can God compete with a man that he created? He sees you when you sleep and you wake up. He can reduce your life and shorten it if you continue playing. No one can kill this child of expulsion that the Lord has birthed in this place. Check your hearts whether you have responded to the call of explosion. The call of explosion. The call of explosion. Such your hearts this morning. Such your hearts this morning. Have you answered to the call of explosion? Did you lose it even before we got further in the year? Did you lose it? Did you lose it? Jesus called out, my children, I want to give you an assignment. Did you answer? Or are you still thinking about it? We are talking to God this morning. We are talking to God this morning. We are talking to God this morning. You still think, you still comprehend, you still reason. I say to you, the earth is moving. 
it is moving. Repent to your disbelief. Repent before me to your disbelief. Because some of you still stand outside. It is true. It is true. Some still stand outside. Stand outside. You wait for the time of contemplation that I may reason again. Repent. Repent, I say to you, for you will see them. You will see them in the nations. Indeed, you will see them. And you will have no one to blame but yourself. Repent for your disbelief. For your disbelief before me. Your heart, your heart has been greedy for what you already have. It is with you, but you count it higher than I. The money in your account, you count it higher than I. Since when? You serve mammon. You serve mammon. You do not consider me. Your sacrifices before me are in genuine. You give me, you give me rags, as if I am most rags. You approach before my servants. Mm. It disgusts me. It disgusts me. It disgusts me. Now I know, I know how some of you approve of me. I know how some of you carry me. For the way you have carried them, you have carried me. And I say to you, repent. For you have done wickedly in my eyes. You have done wickedly. You would rather be that one who had nothing, but desired secretly in their hearts, than that one who brought strands before me and counted it worthy before a holy and righteous God. I say to you, repent. Repent. Let's allow the Lord to help us, ask the Lord to speak to you. The call of God, God has called us in different ways. And many times we fell short of his calling. And the Lord is speaking to us about his calling. Maybe uh, you are here, the Lord has called you to serve him and maybe you have fallen short of that calling maybe you have neglected the call of God in your life God is fear for God today the church of Jesus Christ is representing God many people think that they can play with God but you can't so it is important for us to come to that place, allow the Lord to come before the Lord, tell the Lord, you know, where have you felt in the calling of God? Is it your, is it your prayer life? Is it your devotion to the word of God? Some of us sometimes are so busy with the social life that we don't even have time to be before God. Okay, we don't even have time to pray. We are too busy with the many things of this world. And yet the Lord has called us. The Lord is saying, repent, repent. It's good to hear the Lord. Allow the Lord today to search your heart. Where are you in the calling of God? There are some people in this church, even now seated here, Oh, the Lord wanted them to be very far in the call of God. 
but they are behind, they are lagging behind the call of God. Some of you are even being overtaken by believers who got born again this year. Some people get saved this year, but they are advancing so fast. In you, you got born again so many years ago, but you have been overtaken. Why? Because you have been held up by the things of the world. When is it that time? Where is your quiet time? Where is your time of God? When you take time before God and pray, when you read the word of God, this week, where is God in your life? Where is the calling of God in your life? The Lord is calling us to serve Him. And the Lord is saying, repent. In the morning, Aaron began by saying, that we don't even have time to tell even our own relatives, our own neighbors, our own people, the word of God. The Lord is saying, repent. As the Lord today, this morning, to cleanse your life. As the Lord today, Lord, I want to be more dedicated to your calling. Some of you, the Lord called you to serve Him in the area of giving. That's your area. But you have slackened. Some of you don't even give their tithes and offering. The Lord is saying, repent. God blessed you. God gave you in a job. But that job has become a God to you. The Lord is saying, repent. It's a time for us to recognize the God we serve is a holy God. Let us come before Him this morning. Allow him to cleanse us. It's a merciful God. Let the blood of Jesus cleanse us this morning. Where are we falling short of the calling of God? Some of us, the Lord has called us as evangelists, but we have not been evangelizing. Some of the Lord has called us in the choir, but we are not there. Some of us, the Lord has called us to be an encouragement to others, but we are not doing it. The Lord this morning is saying, where have you fallen in the calling of God? Has the Lord today that I come back to the call of God? Mwambia mwana ni tuishie, nataka kutubikia, 
nataka kuikuishia nataka kutumikia siku zangu za maisha yangu haizitaki bwana ni kuaibishe bwana nataka kukutumikia kweli nilienda kwa mambo mengi kweli bwana nimeacha ukwe nimeacha wito nimeacha lakini bwana na kuomba unirudishie ni kutumikie siku zangu za maisha yangu haleluya mwambie bwana nataka kujipatiana kwako haleluya i give myself Hallelujah I give myself to you that you may use me I repent oh God na tubu bwana bwana tubu na it is obedience I repent oh God in the name of Jesus Hallelujah I ask the Lord restore me to the service of the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus Thank you Lord thank you Lord thank you Lord Hallelujah Let's give our soul to God. Let us allow God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mwambie Bwana anajitoa, anajipeana kwako. Unitumie. Hallelujah. Thank you Lord. Thank you Lord. Give myself away hey, I give myself away So you may use me I give myself away
the sacrifice. He calls us. He calls us. And He calls us that we give ourselves to Him. There's a sacrifice. Even being here on a Sunday morning, there's a sacrifice. You know, sometimes there may be a budget to make some money, but you give it away to be in the house of God. Let me tell you, the day of the Lord is the day of the Lord. You can cancel everything else. Tell everybody, I don't want any engagement on Sunday. I want to be in the house of God. Those who are business people, you can close them and give God. God gives you six days to work. You can give Him one day and you can say, I give myself. You can allow God to use you. This life is very short, my friend. But you can serve God. Hallelujah. As we sing that song, as we tell the Lord, I'm ready to sacrifice. I'm ready to serve you. I'm ready to do what you tell me to do. I'm ready to pay the price. Life is not my own. To you I belong. I give myself. I give myself. Let's go.
sing against his call. I say yes. I say yes. I'm going to say yes to his call. Say yes. My yes, my soul says yes. Things you spoke, your name be glorified. We worship. 